Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Many people have asked if cracking method can be done outdoor. So today I'm going to show you. It's September now in Texas and the weather is starting to cool a little bit. So this is the perfect time to attempt this method because if you try it outdoor and the weather is above 100 degrees, it may not work out too well. This is a very simple method because I didn't start the plant from seeds. I found a few at my local nursery that is really, really cheap. So I'll list out what you need and uh, also where you can buy the, the ingredients you need. So the first thing you would need and the most important is some hydroponic nutrients. That's probably the most expensive investment in this method. And this goes for about $16 on Amazon. This is the Maxi Grow 10 by 5 by 14 NPK. And the reason I love using this is because you don't have to adjust pH. This thing has a pH buffer, so um, you can just add it to your water and it automatically adjusts the pH for you. And in Texas, my water right out of the tap is around 7.8 or so. And then one teaspoon per gallon of this will bring this uh, water down to around 5.9 to 6.0 pH. So it's, it's a perfect and it's very, very easy. And that's the reason why I like to use that. Um, these are net cup that you can buy at your local hydroponic store or you can order on Amazon. This is a six inch and it fits right above the uh, five gallon bucket. And then the third items you will need is the uh, five gallon bucket or if you would like to use different containers that would work as well. I have these available so that's what I'm going to use. These are five gallon buckets you can get from Home Depot. and. That just goes on top like that. Then you will need a plant. You can start your own or you can just go visit your local nursery. And I got this for $1.50. So I bought a ton of stuff, right? Those are all $1.50. So, and the reason why I like buying this at the uh, nursery is because it's fairly inexpensive. And also, look how large this thing is. To, to get your plant from seed to here, it probably would take about three weeks to get it this size. So you saved three weeks already. So this is a perfect way to uh, sort of like introduce yourself into hydroponic non-circulation method cracky um, without having to do too much work. So, And also buying this at the nursery, uh, the plant is already acclimated to the condition of outdoor temperature because it's sitting there in the greenhouse, it gets full sun and everything, so it's completely adjusted. And when you transplant into the bucket, it's ready to go. You don't have to do anything else. Okay, and then this is optional, a container of warm water. The reason we use warm water is because these uh, water-soluble nutrients dissolve quickly in warm water, okay? All right, to speed up the video, I have already um, filled the bucket with four gallons of water. And what you want is the water level to touch slightly to the bottom of the net cup, right there. And that is perfect. And then the next thing we will do is we're going to mix our nutrients. And remember, it says one teaspoon per gallon. I have four gallons of water, so I'm gonna use four teaspoons. And I'm gonna pour it into here and then add some warm water and mix it up. So the nutrients pack comes with a little spoon. It has a teaspoon and a tablespoon. So we need a teaspoon. So we'll add one. Okay, once we have added the four teaspoons of the nutrients, we can go ahead and add some warm water. And then use a spoon to mix it up. Make sure everything dissolves really well before you pour it into the bucket. Okay, it's ready to be poured into here. But before I do that, 
I'm gonna test the pH so you guys can see it. And this just came right out of my tap, so. This is the pH meter I use, and the reason I like to use pH meter instead of uh, those strips is because it's much simpler and faster. And it's an investment, but it's worth every penny. And you can find this on Amazon as well. So let's go ahead and test our water real quick. So it's sitting at 7.6 right out of the tap. 7 7.6, 7.7, around there. This is optional, it's just my stirring stick. 7.6 pH, and so let's go ahead and add our nutrients. This is just the grow formula. And we're going to mix this up really well. Okay, so let's test the pH one more time. Okay, it's about 6.3, which is fine. If you want to be precise, you can use pH down to adjust it to 6.0 if you like. But 6.3 will work for me, so I'm just going to leave it. Alright, the next thing we'll do is transplant our lettuce into the container. And the lettuce is already in a cup like this. You can choose to remove the lettuce completely out of here and place it into the net cup if you like but I'm gonna do it the easy way I'm gonna go ahead and cut some holes in here and then just leave the lettuce in this container okay I've cut holes down at the bottom of the container and you don't want to cut too much because you don't want the soil to fall through into the nutrients because that could alter the pH so I just cut enough holes for the roots to come out and then we're ready to transplant and remember make sure the water touched the bottom of this net cup before you transplant your lettuce in there so we're just gonna place it right in here just like so and then if you have clay pebbles just pour it around And all that does is keep the lettuce in place. Okay, and since uh, this is outdoor, do not let the lettuce touch this part because when the sun beat down on this little container here, it heats up this lid and it could burn your lettuce. So use the clay pebbles to sort of like help the leaves stand up like that. Okay, we're done now. Uh, this piece here is still remaining, sitting like this. I may remove that later, but that's all for now. I'll come back in a few weeks and we'll keep you guys updated. Okay, today has been exactly two weeks and here is the result of the Cracky Method lettuce grown outdoor. Although there is some growth progress in the lettuce it's not as fast as I expected and the reason for that is because in Texas the weather has been crazy it's been up in the high 90s and it's just too hot and today check this out it's 91 degrees and it's currently sitting in the Sun and if you notice I have this little styrofoam here and the reason for that is because the lettuce would span like this and it would land on this piece and this is very hot right now so it, it started to burn the leaves and so I just made I just cut these out of the cups and I just place it like this to keep it from touching the lid to prevent it from burning up and if you decide to give this a try on your own I would suggest to wait uh, until the weather is around 80 to 85 degrees and that's when the lettuce would grow much better and the reason for that is because the heat would heat up the water and it's, it will suck all of the oxygen out of the water so the roots would have trouble growing and as you can see there's not as many roots as there should be but if you wait until it's cooler it'll do a lot better but 
this method does work outdoor it's just um, heat is a big factor in this kind of setup so I hope you enjoy the experiment if you have any questions or comments please post them below and thank you for watching